Today I'm going to convert this old propane tank into a portable air tank. Uh, pretty easy job to do. So let's get cracking. Right, there's two different valves. Uh, this is the old type and I'm going to be doing this bottle today. Uh, it's a bit of a scabby bottle but these things are solid so they make ideal air tanks. So that's the old style and that's the newer style but they both will take the same fitting in here because these are threaded on the inside as well as the outside so there is no difference so whatever whatever type of thread you've got what I'm gonna do today is gonna work the first thing I'm gonna do is tip it upside down open up the valve the reason I'm tipping it upside down is because propane is heavier than air. So if there's if there's any propane in here, it'll sink to the this end of the tank and come out the valve. Then I'm going to hose this thing down because it's it's going to get a paint job as well. All right, old the old style valve. Uh, when you empty it, just crack the valve and and any gases will come out. New style valve. Uh, if you if you just crack it, nothing's going to come out. This but this bottle's three quarters full. Nothing's coming out, so you have to put a a regulator on, attach a regulator off an old barbecue grill or something. Just cut the pipe, whatever, and uh, crack it. Then you, then you'll get the gases out. <laughs> I'm going to keep this old valve on. It's a good valve they're, and they're not that easy to get off so it's I'm going to keep it on but I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to flush it out because propane um, doesn't have any smell naturally but they add sulfates to it which give a kind of a stinky propane smell and uh, I want to flush it. Some people say it makes no difference and it really doesn't matter. You, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do it. Um, you don't have to wash it. You can just stick the fittings on here and you're up and running. But I want to flush it out and I want to do a spray job and blah de blah de blah. So these are way tougher than anything you're going to buy in your local stores, harbour freight, garbage, that kind of thing. Nice. So we've got a little star thread here. Uh, like I say, this is optional. I'm, I'm going to flush the tank out. You don't have to, but uh, this is how I'm going to do it. Right. Now, these are five eights. Now, normally it's lefty loosey righty tighty, but there's a little notch on each corner of here, and that tells you it's left hand thread. So, we're gonna go righty loosey. <laughs> Hang on, it's confusing now. Oh, yeah, righty loosey. That's it. Righty loosey. <laughs> And that's it. Got a got a route. One more thing we gotta take off. We've got to take the screw out, and the only reason we're doing that is it just helps the water come out the tank as we flush it. If you choose to flush it. That's it. Little do dad. It's just a tiny little hole. It'll let a bit of air flow through. Maybe help it drain out. See if there's any liquid in here at all. Nah, nothing. Dry as a bone. As it should be. What am I putting in? A bit of washing liquid. <laughs> Arm and ham. This is the stuff for the washing machine. But, uh, there's a little dribble left in here. A little bit, a little bit.
I'm just going to put a plug in the end of the valve there just because the water's coming out of there as quick as I'm putting it in but that little screw we took out should help air escape as we slowly fill this thing up ah yeah it's doing good bit of detergent if you're going to clean it you might as well clean it eh well, I say bleach kills about everything so we're trying to kill the smell so a bit of Clorox bleach in here Overkill of course, I haven't seen anyone else do this. Yeah. Just slowly fill her up. And I'm just gonna let this stand once it's filled. I'll let it stand for an hour or so, then I'll tip it upside down, let it flush itself out. It'll take a while to flush itself out, and I'll, um, I'll just flush it with water then. Yeah, give yourself about 10 minutes to, to fill it because it's, it's only gone down like quarter inch hole or something like that so I just got it on dribble and I'm gonna stick the kettle on that's it she's full she's belching out what's left of the air just letting it drain out it'll take a while another 10 minutes probably yeah, I'll, I'll probably fill it up one more time and let it drain, call that it. I really smell the sulphur smell as it's draining out, so hopefully, hopefully it'll do its job. Inside these tanks there's a tube goes down and there's a, a cut-off valve like a stopcock in your toilet system um, that's so because the propane's liquid and it goes up and shuts off to stop overfilling these things so it shouldn't get in the way of, of just air so just let you know that if I was taking the valve out I would I would take off that uh, piece of pipe there right, I'm just gonna blow some compressed air and blow the water out whatever water's in there in here before I start uh, any more spray paint uh, sanding or whatever So everything I've done to the tank so far is optional. You don't have to do all that. You could just take your tank and put the fittings on and get it to work. So all these fittings, uh, I like quality fittings. I'm using Goodyear hose and I want six foot holes. I can't stand these tanks that ha have a short hose and you're wrestling with the damn thing all the time. And, this was six foot i can reach reach double tires on on the back of vehicles and just handy around the workshop and i'm using a the, the fitting for the to go into the tank i'm using a mr heating uh full flow fitting yeah so this is this is full flow um 
but you could use one just take one off a off a barbecue or something and just which would have a tiny hole in there and you could just drill it out quarter inch but I don't have one handy so I got one of these they're about 10 bucks or something and I like to use good solid brass fittings uh, I just prefer them and I got a new tire gauge gauge here that goes up to 250 psi nice digital one uh, yeah it's time I had a good one <laughs> These little 20 pound um, propane tanks, they have a blow off valve rate uh, which blows off at 375 psi. So I won't be filling this with anything more than um, 300 psi. That's a limit I'm going to put on it myself. I mean, you put whatever limit you want on yours. But like these hoses, I'm using good hoses, uh, good year. And they got a working pressure of 250 psi and the new gauge that i've got is also 250 psi so <clears throat> so that's what i'm doing yeah maximum 300 psi i'm gonna put in this uh, my compressor only goes to 150 the one i've got right now but i'm gonna get better compressor and i'm gonna make one as well which which should work be able to go up to 400 psi but uh, but that's down down the road in the future and um yeah i'm i'm no expert at all of this stuff so just like me you, if you decide to have a crack at it you're doing it at your own risk but uh, i got to say it's pretty simple it's not rocket science for the holes just a a female Quick release on one side to put your tools on and uh, mail on this side just to go into that one go into that one all right so the last thing you need is a to be able to pump this thing up is just join a male and a female together and then you can just stick that in there and stick your hose from your compressor on the other end and pump her up so we'll get that done and then we'll bang some air in this thing. And I'm just using a, a crappy little Harbour Freight pancake compressor here. Maximum 150 psi. So let's have a go. Let's open up the valve. Open it up all the way. Yeah, let's, let's use the little connector we just made. Connect it up to the tank first. There we go, she's filling up. And I'm just gonna wait until I can't hear any more air going in the tank. So that means it'll be evened out to 150 PSI. That sounds like it's full already. All right, let's uh, connect it up to some tools and see what it'll do. All right, she's full, so just shut off your valve, close her up. Yeah, just disconnect your airline. This is a E250 and the rear tire pressure has 80 PSI on here. And I know I'm low, I'm at... I'm at... Uh, so just over 70 psi here so let's see if she'll fill her up all right let's see if she'll 
she'll take it up to 80 psi open up the valve all the way There, 80.2, 80.1, that'll do, that's great, that's, that's awesome actually. Alright, let's hook up our little air blower here. Turn it on. Blow all the dust away from it. This is much better than I expected. Uh, I'm so pleased I didn't buy a crappy one. This is much better. But the, you'll never get the fittings like this from Harbour Freight or your local stores. Not on a not on a cheap air tank. It's much more ergonomic for carrying around. I can carry this thing. I mean, when it's full of air, it's nothing like a propane tank full of propane. It's way lighter. It's uh, easy to carry around one hand and work with the other. And I'm, st I'm still on the same first fill. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright guys, so we went from a scabby old tank, which was worse than this one, <laughs> if you, at the start of the video you'll see it was worse than that, to a nice new yellow air tank. And I've got to say it works awesome, brilliant. The peanut air tank, maximum 300 psi. And I put that on there because these, these tanks have a safety blow off valve which is rated at 375 so that's when the blow off valve kicks in so 300 is way below that and we're dealing with air we're not dealing with flammable liquids so these tanks are pretty much bulletproof and we've got all good brass connectors we've got a, a good gauge here yeah a really nice gauge that takes behind that thing there is two AAA batteries so the no none of these crappy batteries that you really just can't get the can't get you know easily nice holes good year holes so there you go guys <coughs> get on and make one brilliant I was gonna buy a store bought one I was looking at the cheap ones at Harbour Freight but I knew the the uh, the pipe is too short on them and it's it's all crappy fittings and the, I knew it would just be a disappointment so I'm really pleased with this so if you're thinking about making one just go on and get it done all right catch you later guys <laughs>